Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery with my new desert series. It seems to be working out okay. My glasses are on my head. These are leftover ring pour cups. They had gold, copper, Anita's metallic black, regular black, white metallic from Anita's, and regular white in them. And there's not a lot left of them, but I think there's enough left to do what I need to do. But the way I want to start is by adding a lot of black and white to my sky, which will probably just make cells. And I'm okay with that. Instead of my regular black, I think I'm going to use the Anita's black. And this is an experiment that I should have, that I should already have done and know about. But whatever it is, it's going to be the gray sky I'm after. And that's, that's fine. I can always add black over it at the top or blue over it at the top or whatever. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula and when you use it and you got stuff in your paint you can actually see what that is. I'm going to use the gray paint on my spatula which is probably just out of your view right now to go over the top edge of my canvas. And I'm probably going to wish that I had more paint but I'm going to just use what I've got on my canvas and scrape it off which is the great thing about this spatula. It just never never lets me down, ever. And I really wanted this gray sky, but I really also like the sound of what I just said, which was to, to put some Prussian blue at the top. So I am going to just keep on... Nope, not with that bottle I'm not. That's empty. I'm going to give myself permission to just keep... What's the word I'm looking for? Ombre. I'm going to ombre this color right on down to the bottom and when I get the gray sky that I want with streaks. These, these scapes often, I can't get the spatula past the edge easily. I could if I was willing to pour the sky and tilt the canvas, but um, they probably require a frame. I would be ready for that anytime you decide that you're going to invest your time in making a scape that you may have to invest in a frame or somebody will have to invest in a frame. Now I don't usually mind any of the streaks and I don't mind them now but I'm not also not done playing and uh, so playing includes playing. <laughs> I gotta get that bottle out of here. I keep grabbing the wrong bottle of white. I think that's because my other bottle is almost done too. I'm just going to schmutz that blue up right in place. Give myself a nice stripe. Remember to use some of that paint on the edge. I like the turntables there on the Amazon link where the OXO omelet turning spatula can be found along with the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. I like stripes, so stripes in my sky is a really cool thing. I don't know about the Prussian blue yet, but I'm going to find out right now. It's really strong stuff, so I'm not going to... Ooh, you know what? It's really strong stuff, and I'm going to use a little bit of that. Am I? Maybe I'm not. Yep, I got some. I'm going to use a bunch of things, actually, now that I've come down to it. And I like this purple. I believe that's my new Anita's purple. It's not a metallic. I'm going to go up first and then over and use the paint on my spatula to fill in. Now the more I do these skies, the more I love these skies and I recommend just trying what comes into your head because you're not going to figure it out just by me showing you. You're going to have to figure it out by doing it yourself. And that, to me, looks pretty good. So I'm going to just decide... Uh, am I? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I had that beautiful color right on there, so it made it really hard to want to not use it up. Smaller spatulas might work too. I just got, I've just realized that I picked my tile up out of a pile of tiles that have sand all over the bottom, so hopefully that won't become a problem any minute. I have tweezers, so whatever that thing is, it can go away. 
And if the paint dries on me and I can't put clouds in and I want to, I can always do that tomorrow. I can also put some more pink, some pink in. Might have been time to wipe off my spatula, but since I said the word pink, <laughs> not that that one's open, where is it? I never use this one. Let's grab that one too. I want to try some real pink. All right. Here goes nothing. Ooh, that was nice. Now it's in my way. Let's get this out of my way. I'm not so sure I'm all that pleased with that. So I'm just going to keep playing with my sky for a while and probably the first half of this is going to be about the sky. I want an actual layer of paint on and as soon as I see canvas too much of the grain. I don't mind some. And I don't mind little unexpected things like this purple streak, a bunch of purple streaks over there. And little blue clouds up to high in the sky that are obviously meant to be there. I think it might be time to clean off my spatula before I discover any more new miraculous cool things. Although, I think I'm just going to go for something I want to do because I can sort of thing. That is not coming out. I can always cover it up with the colors I'm going to add for the bottom. I really meant to make this sky red to tell you the truth. And I don't know what would happen if I decided to go for it now, but I kind of don't hate it, so... I'll try and pick up my color off my tile. Oops, wrong side. Alright. So, that's pretty obnoxious. But sometimes that makes me happy. Alrighty, now the colors at the bottom aren't necessarily going to go with this, and i got to quit sticking my hand in the sand underneath that tile. Boy, that's irritating. i got plastic still in the corner. Alright, so, do I have an edge catcher? I do. Do I have paint? I do. So, I think what I'm going to do <laughs> is throw a bunch of brown in there, and then mix those two together somewhat. do just exactly. Please no more microbursts right now. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. <laughs> I wanted some purple in there too, but I think I would really like that bottle of gold to open. And I actually need a skewer. It works better than that one does. Well, I guess we're going to just go for it and see what happens. I try and think sometimes that I must be learning as I go, but I'm not always sure what that is. I wanted the purple in there again. I really want some of the deep, deep teal, but it looks like water every time, so I'm thinking that's maybe not the best idea. Going to leave some paint. Try and get it to the bottom of those containers so I can... Actually, I'll just tip one into the, into the other and that'll get me what I want for now. I'm going to get some bottles of paint out of my way so I can tilt this without an issue. 
hopefully. Grab my edge catcher. I think I will do something odd and go up first and over. Put my edge catcher where I can catch some paint. Let that roll all the way off for a change. And create some really neat stripes. I'm just going to take my edge catcher paint and find myself a spatula and put it right back on the canvas, including whatever I can scrape off, and bring that edge catcher back. Probably never should have got rid of it. So I'm just going to go ahead. And whatever I get for paint, I'm going to put on that. If it's my top left corner, it's going to be your bottom right, I think. So I want all of that paint right now to be available to me. right here. And I'm willing to spread some of it. What was that thing? I saw, I saw something. It was a rather large lump. Maybe I was hallucinating. It could happen. So the only thing I'm worried about is that pink, but honestly it could still look like a, some kind of little shelf with the sky peeking through. So I guess we're going to leave that. Don't mind that purple in there, she said as she reached for her skewer <laughs> to spread it around a little. Kind of wouldn't mind a little more copper. Where is the copper gone? There it is. I got it. Now I like all that, but there's a big puddle and it means it'll go a lot further if I let it. And in order to not lose my paint, I need to always have an edge catcher handy. Right there. Or not. Oh, please don't pick up my canvas. Please, 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 please. I'm liking my weird stripes very much, actually. Seems funny for a, a righty to have trouble with the tipping on the right hand side, but that's what seems to be my issue. I don't want that edge catcher flying up and throwing anything in there. I have more paint if I want it, and I'm thinking that it won't hurt me to just use some paint and some black. And maybe try and blow it around or even use the skewer. Oh, I see that. That was, <laughs> that could have been construed as a mistake. I need some paint to go over the bottom. And this is nice and thick here. And I don't mind that it's kind of a neutral brown color because I used brown. I should expect to see some. some black in there. But I think what I'm going to do is give myself permission to drip a little bit more up over the top. Can it be black? Maybe it can't. the black will often make it look as though there's a recessed area, so that's why I add that. I 
and I like that diagonal pattern. It's kind of cool. I don't know what's going to happen when I uh, when I torch. I'm not really happy with the windy effect of having splashes in my sky. I'm kind of hoping they'll come out. They're not even splotches. They're stuff from the wind. Well, this was obviously not my best choice of days, but I didn't have many choices because it was like super cold recently and super rainy. I'm not minding any of that. I've got enough paint in places to steal it on my bamboo skewer. Yeah, it's Microverse City to here today. I like the idea of having another area over here that goes in a different direction. And do I want anything else? Kind of do. Let's see what I can get out of here, because otherwise it's wasted anyway. Yeah, I like that contrast. I did get a bunch of paint out. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Alright, so I'm almost out of time again! And I've got two minutes to tell you guys, and I wish I had my crib sheet, to tell you guys that my crib sheet blew away! And I love you, and there's almost 85,000 of you, and uh, we might actually make it by the new year. If I can get another couple hundred people, we'll see. Probably not, but it'd be nice. I can dream. If you decide you would like to help me out, watching the videos longer, or and including the commercials does help. Um, if you'd like to contribute to help me keep, keep me painting, there is a monthly drawing, and you can find the particulars of that on an exhibition video at the end of every video. This month's is 18 by 24 inch exhibition of 70 or so. And uh, I'm gonna have to do something about that. I can see that now. And I kinda want some purple clouds anyway, so I guess that's okay. Where is that purple? So I love you guys, I told you that already. And um, I do some of my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I also, <laughs> have Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More is for people who like my artwork enough to see what what it might be printed on and if you use the shop now button at Totes and More you will find um, what I've been posting on Fine Art America and uh, Pixels.com for years, since 2013 in fact. What else is there? There's all kinds of stuff. The paint pouring recipe is underneath the video. I need a little bit of that right here. I don't mind some purple clouds along the horizon or anywhere. Put a little more of that over here. Yep, perfect. All right, so I love you guys. I told you that. You're going to be gone. I got a minute. I wish I could figure it out. Let me see if I got anything else. I've got Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, I'm still thinking about, really, it's that kind of day. All right, well, it's gone now. I don't usually say fingers are a good idea, but at this point I haven't. Uh, I know that little thing is cool, but... It just draws my attention too much. I'm going to torch and release the bubbles and caught in the paint, hopefully. And uh, I'm going to look for any spots like this along my edge that I might happen to need some more paint to cover them. The primer on the canvas seems to be an issue today. Anyway, so you're probably gone, and I love you. Hope to see you tomorrow. Check the community board or fa the Facebook groups for um, tomorrow's posted video. And whatever I forgot to tell you, you will see in another video. And I put my torch where it wasn't going to dump over, so 